so let's solve one more problem okay so let's solve the quasi linear uh, utility maximization problem uh, and this time you know we are also going to include prices as px py and m okay so we'll solve this problem fully is that okay so we already know lots of ways to solve this problem uh, we can use the indifference curve approach you can use uh, you know you can convert it into a one variable problem and then do it uh you know uh so uh so i mean we already know uh, uh you know a few approaches to actually handle this uh now what we're going to do is we'll do the same problem using kuhn tucker method okay uh so suppose you know you want to maximize with respect to x y to root x plus y okay and then again you know you have these constraints that px x plus pyy is less than or equal to m okay x is non-negative and y is non-negative okay is that fine okay uh, so i'm again I'm, I'm assuming px is strictly positive py is strictly positive okay uh, so that uh, uh, this is uh, kind of uh, an interesting problem because otherwise the solution will not exist okay and uh, and i'm also assuming income is positive because otherwise uh, there'll be a trivial solution which is zero zero okay uh, so let's assume these three conditions and then solve it okay uh, so again uh, you know you can just set up the lagrangian and it's going to look like this two root x plus y minus lambda p x x plus y y minus m minus mu x x minus mu y y sorry plus mu x x plus mu y y okay so this is the lagrangian okay is this concave Yes, it is concave. Okay, uh, so basically, you know, the solution to this uh, KD condition will will coincide with the solution to the optimization problem. Now, uh, before I do this, can you tell me what was the solution to the optimization problem? Like, if you solve this problem, x d, y d, p x, p y m. So it is p y square by p x square comma m minus p y square upon p x okay divided by p y okay and this is the case if this is positive. Okay, this is the case if uh, if uh, p y square by p x is less than or equal to m. Okay, and uh, it is m by p x comma zero otherwise. okay uh, so this is something that uh, you know you will you will get by solving uh, this graphically uh, or whichever method you like uh, you can also convert it into one variable problem and then solve it or otherwise you can just uh, solve it like this okay just, just confirm are are you all getting this
Okay, anyways, you can check, you know, we have solved this kind of problem several times. You can check that uh, later, you know. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is this, I'll just use the KD conditions and try and figure out the solution. Okay. Uh, so, so let's write the uh, KD conditions. So del L by del X is equal to one by root X. Okay, a uh, minus uh, lambda px okay uh, plus mu x equal to zero and then del l by del y equals one minus lambda py plus mu y equal to zero okay and then you have uh, the constraints you know one is pxx plus pyy less than or equal to m and then you have uh, lambda greater than or equal to zero and then you have their product equal to zero okay uh, lambda times pxx plus pyy minus m is zero okay uh, so this is one and then you also have x is non-negative uh, mu x is non-negative and then mu x times x is zero and then you have y is non-negative mu y is non-negative and then mu y times y is zero okay uh, so we get this uh, system and we want to solve uh this system okay uh so again you know you can start with the case pxx plus pyy is strictly less than m and you, you know you'll be able to easily el eliminate this uh you know because it's a concave uh uh, Lagrangian function and uh, if it's a concave Lagrangian function we know uh, utility is increasing so he'll never consume uh, less than his income so definitely you know this is something that will be ruled out you know because uh, KD conditions are necessary and sufficient for the solution so since uh, KD conditions are necessary and sufficient so there will be no solution in this region that's for sure okay uh, but but let's just do this using the KD conditions. Let's verify this using the KD conditions. So if this is the case, then uh, lambda must be zero. Uh, so if lambda is zero, then uh, mu y is minus one, uh, which is inconsistent. Okay, with the uh, uh, with this this system, is that fine? So we have ruled it, ruled out this this possibility. You know, he's he's definitely not going to spend. Uh, less than what he earns in in optimum okay uh, so let's consider this case okay so again in this case uh, you know you can rule out x equal to zero y equal to zero because then uh, this this uh, pxx plus pyy will not be equal to m okay uh, so we'll just be left with three cases okay one is uh, x is zero y is m by py Okay, and then you have x is m by px, y is zero. Okay, and the last is, uh, you know, uh, x is positive, y is positive. Okay, so these are the three possibilities that we have to inspect. Let's consider this one. Notice that this will, uh, again, you will be able to show that this will never happen. Okay, because we can see that x is never zero. Okay, but let's just do it using the KD conditions. Okay, so X is zero, Y is M by PY. Okay, uh, since Y is M by PY and uh, both M and PY are positive, so Y is to be positive. And since Y is to be positive, so mu Y must be zero. Okay, so this gives you mu Y equal to zero. Okay, now once you have mu Y equal to zero, then, uh, uh, okay, then lambda must be one by PY, right? Okay, so this gives you lambda, the value of lambda is one by py. Okay, is this fine? Okay, now notice that x is zero. Okay, uh, so that's a problem here because if x is zero, there is no uh, value of uh, lambda and mu x which will satisfy this equality. So this case is ruled out. Is that okay? Because x is zero, so we have x is zero in the denominator so there is no value of lambda and uh, mu x which is going to satisfy this equality is this clear to everyone okay. 
is this clear okay so we have ruled this out okay so this case is ruled out okay let me raise this there is no solution here so we are just left with these two cases and we can see that the solution uh whether it is here or here should depend on this condition but let's just do that using uh kd conditions okay uh, so instead of using this which we already know let's use that use the kd conditions to get there okay uh so let's consider the scenario where x is m by px and y is zero okay uh, so if x is m by px then mu x must be zero right right yes or no okay now since mu x is zero this gives you the value of lambda right uh, because mu x is zero so uh, so you take lambda px on the other side you're going to get lambda px lambda equal to px root x so you're going to get lambda equal to one upon px root x px and what is root x root x is root m by px okay which is what uh well uh you can just take one upon root pxm right yes or no okay okay so far no problem at all uh what about uh uh mu y okay uh so uh so mu y is actually lambda p y minus one okay so mu y is lambda p y minus one so this is lambda okay uh so what i can do is i can just write this uh p y upon root p x m okay minus one is that fine okay now this is zero this is positive this is zero this is positive now the only thing is that we want this to be positive okay and that depends on these parameters py px and m so if this condition holds then this is a solution right yes or no okay uh, so so basically we get that x d y d uh p x p y m equals m by p x comma zero if this condition holds you know which is p y so let me take this one to the other side and then square both sides take this to the other side you're going to get py square is greater than or equal to uh uh pxm notice that this is exactly the same condition just the opposite of this right yes or no okay so basically you know we we got this you know we got this uh if this is a case okay uh now let's do this one uh when x is positive y is positive then mu x must be zero mu y must be zero okay and if both mu x and mu y are zero then uh uh you know uh then uh we can just uh use this condition uh one upon root x uh equals px by py so basically this is going to give you x equals uh py square by px square okay uh, because all that you have to do is just plug in zero here and then take this to the other side you know uh, divide uh you know the first equality by the second equality uh so you're going to get one by root x on the on the left hand side and uh px by py on the right hand side uh so that's going to give you x equals py square by px square okay and then the corresponding value of y will be 
uh, m minus uh, px times this, okay, which is uh, py square upon px upon py, okay, which is exactly what we got here. Uh, okay, and then we also want this to be non-negative, you know, because y has to be non-negative and there's a negative term here. So that's going to give you this condition that this should be non-negative, okay, which means that we have a solution which is uh, py square by px square comma m minus py square by px upon py if uh, you know this is non-negative which is equal to saying that uh, py square is less than or equal to pxm is that clear okay which is exactly the same thing so you can see that you know this is also another way in which you can uh, solve this problem completely, you know, uh, using the KD KD conditions. Is that fine? Have you all understood this? Any questions? Okay, 